Ethical Lifestyle Creation, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 268. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 268, May 13th, 2018 edition. Today what I'd like to talk about is ethical lifestyle creation, which One Community is defined as living and creating for the highest good of all. And when I say living and creating for the highest good of all, that doesn't mean that we think that we've really got it figured out. One of our foundational definitions of living and creating for the highest good of all is being non ideological about it, meaning we don't have preconceived notions of what it must be, what it has to be. We just have our idea of what we think would be for the highest good of all, and this dedication to doing our absolute best to live and create that way in everything that we do. And so we consider that eth ethical lifestyle creation, and we call it lifestyle creation because it's actually an evolution of sustainability that encompasses all aspects of a sustainable and ethical lifestyle. So it takes the food, the energy, and the housing aspects, which are foundations of sustainability that everybody's aware of, and we combine those with the emotional foundations of sustainability and ethical lifestyle creation that we've identified as highest good economic models, highest good education models, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we put these things together into an ethical lifestyle model that we think most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And because it's built on sustainable infrastructure, it provides a lower cost of living, it provides higher quality food, higher quality air, higher quality water, and when combined with our education model, we believe it also provides a higher quality education model, a better economic model, more fulfilled living practices and time to engage in those fulfilled living practices, as well as the true earth stewardship model, which takes care of the entire surrounding environment for these teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that we are designed to build. And you can see examples of these happening in the background of this video right here. And everything that we're doing is open source and free shared so that people can modify or adapt that if they believe that there's a more ethical or a better lifestyle that they would like to live and create, then our open source models are designed to support that as well. And so our idea of ethical lifestyle creation is taking all these things, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the fulfilled living, the economic models, the highest good, uh, the stewardship models, and taking care of our environment, putting them all together to create a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that can be built anywhere in the world and open sourcing and free sharing it for as a foundation for creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative of teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs working together around the world to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. And sharing this ethical lifestyle, sharing it, inviting people to come and participate, showing people what it is that we're doing and everything that we're created is also modularly replicable. So if somebody's not interested in a complete teacher demonstration hub or it's just too much of a lifestyle change or they would just like to integrate some small aspect of what it is that we're doing, everything that we're created is designed so it can be modularly implemented as well because we want to provide something for everybody. And this idea of ethical lifestyle creation is really subjective. And so we're creating everything that we can with the philosophy and the mindset for the highest good of all life on this planet and then open sourcing it modularly so that people can apply what they want. And we believe that in creating everything with this concept and with this idea, holding the energy and the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet, we believe that by creating from that place and open sourcing and free sharing, everything that we're doing is do-it-yourself replicable tools, tutorials, and resources. We believe that creating from that place will spread this idea and really is a step in the right direction no matter how it's used because it's built in this foundation of creating and living for the highest good, of ethical lifestyle creation. Not just making money, not just trying to fulfill our own needs, not trying to do something just for us, but really thinking globally of all life on this planet and how we can best support that. This is what One Community is doing. This is our idea of ethical lifestyle creation that is easy enough, affordable enough, and we want to demonstrate as attractive enough so the idea will spread its own and so that we can transform our entire planet into one that truly works for everybody. 
simultaneously addressing all the challenges, the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come with a model that is sustainable, with a model that is adaptable and flexible enough to be able to address these challenges as they evolve and change with our growing population, and inviting everybody to participate. This is our idea for creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime, and you are invited to participate. And doing this, we are a 100% volunteer organization. We are an all unpaid staff. We are a nonprofit organization, and we're doing our best, and everybody's invited to participate. So with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of ethical lifestyle creation for the benefit of everyone and everything living on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished redesigning the Murphy Bed storage area in 3D. We marked the same parts with matching colors and added additional parts for stability, as shown here. The core team also updated the living structure graphics shown here and added them to the Treehouse Village Pod 7 open source hub. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his seventh week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, Shadi continued refining the format for the nightstand designs and also explored several proposed design changes that will simplify the construction process and reduce materials too. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates. Here is update 113 of Dean's work. This week, Dean focused on adding trim and other aesthetic details to what will be the dining hall view from the second floor render when complete. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team worked on the bathroom design for the city center. Testing our designs in 3D, we updated the floor and tiles on the wall, changed mirrors and counter size, and corrected the countertop height, as shown here. And the core team, working with Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 74th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing lighting and creating, and adding to the website, this comparison of the different direct lighting fixture types that meet our LEED sustainability criteria. Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, continued with her work with the behind-the-scenes development of the city center excavation and construction of the footer and foundation tutorial. This week's focus was more research and editing of the construction flow section of the tutorial. You can see some of this work in progress here. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by creating the snow load spreadsheet for the roof of the living dome, which you can see here. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, completed his sixth week helping with the beam design and calculation spreadsheet creation for the city center structural engineering. This week, he continued developing the SON timber design spreadsheet and completed the preliminary beam designs for the entire second floor. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her fifth week helping with the duplical city center materials and costs. This week's focus was researching and updating material quantities and costs and updating the basement layouts in AutoCAD. Last but not least, Da Hua Feng, civil engineer, completed his second week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he redesigned the fire zones in AutoCAD and began research on the minimum and maximum operating pressures and sprinkler hardware options. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the second landing party group of 20 people. This past week, we established and defined six separate trial planting beds so we can compare production rates at high elevation growing under varying planting conditions. We also added a narrative explaining how we will resurrect the existing neglected orchard by pruning, adding nutrients, and mulching, 
and we added a narrative describing the purpose of hugel culture beds for recycling large branches and trees and turning them into a nutrient soil additive. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished the creation of the four assessment templates that are linked to from the assessment forms page. You can see some of this last week's work here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar, Shubur Mittal, and Swati Jayasilan continued their work on the software. This week, they fixed issues with creating new users, started working on a new password process, removed the search task option, added a projects filter, added functionality that puts the most recently added action item at the top of the time log, and developed a line chart for showing weekly work input trends with a dropdown to include, exclude, individual members' data from the chart. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working to this idea of creating a comprehensive model that is truly ethical lifestyle creation that can be shared and experienced as one community and replicated as teacher demonstration hubs all over the world. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or any of our social media networks and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, and that is the easiest way to support us. Like to support us, like this video, like our posts on Facebook, on Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, wherever it is that you spend your social media time. Uh, just going there, sharing our work or liking our work is a great and easy way to help out. You can also visit our helping page, which has lots of other ways to get involved. And uh, of course, you're helping just by watching the whole video and being aware of what it is that we're doing. So thanks for watching to the end. If you're somebody who's donated to our project, we really appreciate that. That definitely helps. We're all unpaid staff, including myself. So every donation goes towards forwarding our sustainable mission and helping support our website infrastructure and growth of all the open source tutorials, et cetera. It doesn't go to paychecks or wages for me or anybody else on the team. So thank you for that. Uh, if you're somebody who's liked or shared our videos, thank you for that. And of course, just thanks for watching. Thanks for following our progress. Thanks for the emails. Thanks for the comments. And uh, as I say every single week, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.